In this video, we'll balance the equation for Be3N2 plus H2O. So let's just count the atoms up and balance the equation. Three beryllium atoms, two nitrogens, two hydrogens, one oxygen. Product side, we have the one beryllium, the one nitrogen. And then for the hydrogens, we need to be careful. We have two times one, that's two, plus the three with the ammonia. That gives us five. For the oxygens, we have two times one. That gives us two. So this two goes to everything here in the parentheses. Let's see, let's just fix the beryllium here. We could put a three in front of the beryllium hydroxide. One times three, that'll give us three of those. Let's update the oxygens and the hydrogens now. So for hydrogen, we have two times one, that's two times three, that gives us six, plus we still have these three. So now we have nine hydrogen atoms. Oxygen, two times one times three, that gives us six. Let's fix the nitrogens, see what that does. We have two here, then one. So we'll put a coefficient of two, one times two, that'll give us two. And again, we need to update our hydrogen atoms. So we have our two times one times three, that gives us the six here. And then three times two, that's six. So now we have 12. Let's just fix the hydrogen. We, we put a six here in front of the water. That may even fix the oxygen, but two times six for the hydrogen. Those are balanced. And then one times six, that gives us six oxygen atoms. We're done. This equation is balanced. Two things to remember. One, make sure you count up your hydrogens. You have hydrogens here and here. So be careful. And then watch out for the parentheses. This two here, it goes to everything in the parentheses, both the oxygen and the hydrogen. And then when you have a coefficient, you've got to multiply all of that together. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Be3N2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.